Let me see that shirt, Missy. Rocking a beard shirt. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, so welcome back to Heirloom Permaculture. Today is just kind of a normal day around here, chores and things, but the weather is gorgeous, so I'm gonna take time to plant some potatoes and onions that we've been needing to get in the ground for a while. But first, gotta take care of the animals. It's our crazy Roy. He is full of energy all the time. Boy, sit. Sit. Just heading out to let the chickens loose to get up some water, take care of the little spoiled cat. Then I'm gonna get busy planting some potatoes and onions. camera in the face as much as I do. I'm trying to get better. So we are finally not frozen, which makes me happy because I can take advantage of our rain barrel that we have here. It's coming off the back of the barn. And when I hook it up, it goes right into water the chickens, which is perfect because then I don't have to haul buckets of water. Seriously, one-handed, way harder than I'm used to. <laughs> All right, got it hooked up. If you can see, the hose all hooked up, and then it's just a flip of the switch, and the chickens have water inside without me having to haul the buckets, which is perfect. So I don't know about you, but hauling five-gallon buckets of water is not exactly my favorite thing. Hey, big babies. My big spoiled baby, he loves his cuddles, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So back inside the barn, I've got that water that I just showed you guys that comes from the rain barrel off the roof. It goes right into that hose and it comes right down to the system. Flip of a switch. And we have water that goes to the bell water there. So it makes it perfect. It's really easy most of the time. Unless we're frozen like we have been so much lately. And then the chickens have water without me having to haul those buckets back and forth. It's just perfect. All right. 
right, took care of the animals. Well, mostly, still need to open the windows of the barn since it's gonna be sunny today and let the chickens have plenty of sunshine. I think they'll really get out and enjoy it more than they will be in there though. And I'm gonna get busy planting. Tons of potatoes here. Got some onions. Time to get it all in the ground. I'm always kind of leery about planting this early. I guess it's not really early, it just seems like it to me because it never fails. As soon as we get it done and everything starts growing pretty, we end up with another freeze. But I know it's time and it always works out, so gotta get it done. Ooh, yeah, this isn't a one-handed job. Time to grab a couple of tools. And it's really dark in here. <laughs> everywhere and so hard to fight once it takes over. <laughs>
digging some trenches to put the potatoes in. We'll keep mounting them up throughout the season as they're growing. A lot of this is the cover crop we planted at the beginning of the winter. I'm just working that in, that's fine. Of course, like I just mentioned, I hate Bermuda and we're always fighting that, so there's not much we can do there. If you have any great secrets, leave them and let me know. So I haven't figured it out yet. Soil's nice and soft and full of worms, which I love. Not so crazy about these grubs, but when I do find them, makes the chickens very happy. Let me see that shirt, Missy. Rocking a beard shirt. <laughs> yeah. I didn't show you planting the onions. A little boring, plus the battery's getting a little low, so, but we got all of this area over here planted, right in here. Got potatoes, all down these two rows you saw earlier me working on. And all along this side we have onions planted. So, one more job done. I'm glad. Had a good helper, my little, my little miss there. All right, so last night we were forecasted up to tennis ball size hail. We had a cold front come, say a cold front, I guess that's what they call it. It's warmer today, but there was a, something came through, kicked up a bunch of storms. So uh, with the tennis ball size hail in the forecast, we put a, several layers of tarps uh, and other stuff over the greenhouse to try to protect it from the hailstones. Uh, seems like we did pretty well. I didn't see anything any bigger than dime size. But today we've got to pull all that off, let the sun get in there. We give it a little bit of time this morning for the sun to kind of dry out the wet tarps before we put them up. But uh, the wind is blowing like crazy today. So you can probably tell right now, it's probably a lot of noise. So you'll probably get to listen to some good music while you watch us take us off here and hopefully uh, just don't catch wind like a sail and carry us to Kansas or something. So uh, let's see what happens.
So enjoying the weather. It's a little windy, but at least it's not snowy, raining, or freezing cold where you can't stand to be outside. So we were able to get a little bit of work done. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.